The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Henry Lawrence of South Carolina was one of the most important patriots to bring the colonies into their independence and freedom from England. Henry Lawrence was born on March 6, 1724 in Charleston, South Carolina. A descendant of French ancestry, Lawrence was a devout Huguenot who worked as a merchant for much of his early life. He was a rice planter and he was one of the largest traders of slaves and one of the most successful merchants in the colonies. As the colonies in South Carolina prepared for revolution, Lawrence served as the leader for the Provincial Congress and later elected to the Continental Congress. He was convinced that the colonists were going to uh, leave Great Britain and he threw in his lot with the colonists. He would serve as president of the Continental Congress from 1777 to 1778. Henry Lawrence signed the Articles of Confederation as the president of the Continental Congress. His greatest achievement was holding the Continental Congress together and in supporting George Washington when there were many movements underfoot in the Continental Congress to replace Washington. In the fall of 1780, Lawrence, having been named minister to the Netherlands, was on his way to Holland when he was captured by the British and imprisoned in the Tower of London. He was on the high seas on his way to Holland to negotiate a loan for the American colonies. He was taken to London and placed in the Tower of London as a traitor, high treason, to the king. They knew there what could await them. Punishment by drawing and quartering, which was a grisly form of execution. The uh, victim would be hanged until almost dead, cut down. Then he would be cut into four pieces, drawn and quartered, and his head mounted on a stake. They were willing to do that for us. People like Henry Lawrence were willing to risk that so that we could have the nation we have now. Lawrence's imprisonment in the Tower of London was loudly protested by America. But this never swayed Lawrence's dedication to the colonial cause, which came at a great personal sacrifice. The fact that the colonies would be successful in fighting for their independence was by no means certain. He committed his wealth to the success of the revolution. He used all those resources that he had worked and earned for the sake of freedom and to create this nation. In 1782, Henry's oldest son, John Lawrence, was killed in a small battle just weeks before the British withdrew their forces from Charleston. Despite these misfortunes, Lawrence remained true to the revolutionary cause and continued to serve as a statesman even after the war was over. He was given positions of responsibility and uh, great prominence within the colonies. Henry Lawrence uh, was like other prominent slave owners who turned against slavery. He and others who had been slave owners tried to end slavery at the time of the formation of the new nation and they were unsuccessful. Lawrence died in his home at what is now Memkin Abbey on December 8, 1792. He had a great fear of being buried alive and made arrangements just before his death to be cremated. Today, Lawrence's legacy can be seen not only in the countless streets and cities that bear his name, but by the freedoms which all Americans enjoy.